Next we're gonna get wet mod kits. Now all you're gonna need here is the main file, wet mod kits. You're not gonna need any of these optional files. These are mainly for the DLCs, but um, Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition already offers its own DLC files, so you're only gonna need this one. Next we're gonna get Energy Visuals Enhanced or EVE. And here again, take your time and really look what files are available. Of course we're gonna need the main file. I have Operation Anchorage, so if you have that too, get EVE Operation Anchorage and get the important update you require both the main file and the important update so if in doubt just read through the descriptions read through the readme they should make it pretty clear which files you need so in this case get all three of those next we're gonna get project beauty here you have the choice between one standard version and one high definition version um, standard version requires much less resources. The high definition version also uh, offers um, new hairstyles and new textures, things like that. Um, it's a matter of taste. Some people prefer the standard version because it uh, meshes better with Fallout 3. So if you want to get the high definition version, get the resources and get the, ver the main files here. If you want the standard version, get the standard resources and the standard files. Now, these are all pretty big mods, and we want them to work together perfectly. Um, for these big mods, there's something called the Fallout Interoperability Program, or short FOIP. So we're going to search for FOIP. The FOIP page is um, pretty important. Here you will find um, a recommended load order directly in the description. Scroll down here, and you'll see a load order directly how your mods have to be set up and under files you will find a lot of compatibility patches. Make sure to get the compatibility patches for the mods you have. We're using EVE and Wanderers Edition, so get this file. Also using Mart's Mutant Mod and FWE, so get this file. Same here. And finally, the Wet Mod Kits package. Now after you've finished downloading all of these, you should have all those files in your downloads directory. Um, one file is missing, which is Darn UI. Uh, Darn UI you can't get on Nexus, but in the Darn UI update for FW is a link. So just open up the README, grab the link, and just download the file. And now we've got all the mods we need for our setup. Now, the next important step is organizing your mods. Um, I bet a lot of people do this. Uh, you want to install a mod, so you just go to your data folder and uh, you grab a file and just throw it in there. Don't install mods like this. Um, it's a huge hassle if you want to uninstall those mods later on. You will easily lose the overview over what mods you have installed, especially texture mods. So I'm going to show you how to install those mods properly with the Fallout Mod Manager. Now what I'm going to do first is create a folder, a new folder anywhere, just call it Fallout 3 Mods. Open that folder. Now what I do is I extract every mod I download into this Fallout 3 Mods folder. So just demonstrate it. I'm going to grab the FOIP Web Mod Kits and FW package just going to drag it over here, right click, hit 7z, and extract to. So basically now I have all these folders with the mods in them. It makes it much easier to keep an overview over what mods you have installed. And it's also very important to always take a look at the, the zips and whatever you download, what's actually in there. Um, a mod folder should look like this. Let's take the Fallout Wanderers Edition. You're going to have uh, meshes, sound, textures folders. 
depends on the mods. Some won't have any of that. Some will only have one of those folders, and you'll have your ESMs and ESPs. So we're going to take a look through our folders, check if they look all right. And here we look at the E folder. This doesn't look okay because it goes to another subfolder. Don't want that. So we're going to grab all these files, just cut them out, paste them in here. We can delete this folder. Because what Fallout Manager basically, what the Mod Manager basically does, it grabs all these files and moves them to your data folder. But it does so in a different way, so you can also uninstall those mods. Now, now you have all your mods set up like this. I'm going to show you one more exception, which is Darn UI. If you open up the Darn UI, you're going to find something entirely different in there. A uh, .fomod file. .fomod files can only be installed with the Fallout Mod Manager. You can't install them uh, otherwise. Now, <clears throat> now we've got our mods set up in these folders, all nice and tidy with their resources. And what we're going to do is start the Fallout Mod Manager. And here we're going to use the Package Manager. Enter your Fallout 3 Nexus username and password and log in. Now this is where all the installing happens. You have several options here. You can use Add New. With Add New you can select the file which can be a zip, a 7z, or a FOMOD file and install from there. Or you can use Create from Folder which will create a FOMOD file from a certain folder. That's why we have these folders set up in this very specific way. So the mod manager can just create an installation file from these. Now, Just to show you again, we're just gonna start with the installation of Mart's Mute mod. Use Create from Folder, go to your Fallout Mods folder, go to the Mart's Mute mod folder, and hit OK. Now what the mod manager does, it creates a FOMOD file which allows the mod manager to easily install and uninstall mods. Um, another good feature is that if you install a mod that overwrites another mod and later on uninstall it, Fallout Mod Manager will automatically restore the overwritten files. So you can't break your setup if you install mods like this. You're not gonna lose textures or meshes. So it's always the best idea to install mods only via this package manager. Now I've skipped the video ahead a bit. After you're done creating all the FOMOD packages it should look something like this. It doesn't matter if the order looks entirely different. These mods aren't actually installed yet. We've only created the FOMOD packages. Um, the only mod that is still missing now is the darn UI FOMOD. To install this, we're going to hit Add New, select Darn UI Fomod, hit Open. It will ask you to make a copy, just say yes. Um, before we go ahead and start installing these mods, there's one more important step we need to do. Close the Package Manager. You have a button here, Toggle Invalidation. Hit it. It should ask you to apply Archive Invalidation. Archive invalidation is very important, so Fallout 3 uses the new textures you've installed with some of those mods. Just hit yes. If it asks you to remove archive invalidation, hit no. Now we're going to go back to our package manager. 